Okay. This is take three. Um, we've been, it's been hard to find a quiet spot in London. Look how cute he is with that pillow. Your YouTube is <laughs> infinite. All right, a little awkward. This is quiet. Quiet? Quiet, but nowhere to sit. Sorry, we'll do. We'll start over with okay, the introduction one last time, or one first time. Or right, here we go. All right, Daniel Rob Rah. I'm here with Ralph Smart from YouTube.com/slash Infinite Waters. Um, and Infinite Waters, real quick, somebody might be asking, what is that? Infinite Waters is a symbol for what we're made of, which is water, and we're surrounded by water. Everyone wants to live by the ocean, so water is the essence of life itself. I like it. And, and this guy, we've been talking for quite some time now, and he has a very holistic approach to pursuing his passion. And one of the phrases that he borrows from Fritz Perls as well as we do for our retreats is lose your mind, come to your senses. You said you were a psychologist? Yes. So you studied, you got a psychology degree in school? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Look at that. That adds some credibility, so stick around, guys. Here it comes. <laughs> what does that mean to you, lose your mind, come to your senses? Many of us, we're in our minds all the time, we're thinking, we're overthinking, and we have to become our body. We have to develop total body awareness where we, in essence, become more sensitive to our bodies. That's the biggest thing because many of us, we're desensitized. I agree, and um, that actually, I think that's how we kind of were fascinated by this idea because when we started our YouTube channel, we were eating a certain type of diet that really brought awareness to our bodies. Right. Um, and I think that's where we got that initial spark. Now, other than eating clean, what are some other ways that you would suggest to becoming more sensitive to your own body? Stress, 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 <laughs> and more stress. Get rid of stress out of your life because we have to see that the emotion stands for the energy in motion. And a lot of us, we are blocked, the energy is blocked within our bodies because we just are living stressful lifestyles. We have to change our lifestyles. We have to get back into nature. I always talk about on Infinite Waters, we have to reconnect back to nature, our natural habitat. That's where we were designed to live. All of these cities, as great as they may be, but they are not our natural habitat. So that's why a lot of us we're suffering. <laughs> You're gonna pay, you see. Once you move out of the natural lifestyle, it's very difficult to find equilibrium and balance. So how do you do it, living in London? I travel a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Once I'm in London, what I do is realizing that you can create your home in a way which is more natural. For instance, bring more plants into the home. Okay. Change your diet drink more water, do yoga, which I do a lot. Just getting in tune with your body, you don't need a lot. In fact, certain people in prison cells, they've changed their whole life around just by working on their body in, in one space. So you don't need to be in the most tropical place. It just helps. It just helps. That's <laughs> a bonus. <laughs> the diet, what's an ideal diet for you? Or what does that mean to you, cleaning up your diet? Everyone eats whatever they are vibrating with at that present moment. For me, I never tell people what to eat. They have to make up their own choice. What I do is I get rid of junk food. It's not so much what I should eat as what I shouldn't eat because there's a lot of artificial garbage. As, as long as you can eat as much organic food as possible, that is fantastic. I'm a so-called vegan. I don't eat animals simply for the fact that I respect all life on the planet. However, I've got friends that do eat animals. We're not gonna have an argument or a fight. I didn't, I didn't even know that. You, you're a vegan? Right. You yeah. don't eat any animal products no. at all? Since 2006. So, it's a long time. It's so over seven years now. So, when you realize that it's a mindset, it's because a lot of people, they wanna try it, and then they go back because they're doing it for the wrong reasons. It should never be about, okay, I wanna...